As you can see, declaring arrays creates a complex data type. And the problem with complex data types is that they may not be used as parameters. And we can't send them to or receive them back from functions. So we'll have to change this complex data type into a more simple or user-defined data type. And we will do that in our main program as a global declaration. So let's scroll up. And you can see that above the VAR, which declares global variables, and below the first type that has been declared in this program, we are going to create another type. And this type will be trnum, type rnum, and it will be an array type which has 10 elements of type integer. Now we've simplified our array from a complex data type to a simple data type called trnum. This is now a new data type, the same as we've used in our classes that we've created so far. So we have a new data type called trnum, and it will be an array with 10 elements, and each of those elements will be an integer. Now we can go back to our button, and in the button, instead of declaring our local variables of the array data type from scratch, we will now declare them as being from the declared type. I've used the same variable name, but now instead of declaring this as array 1.10 of integer, I've used the previously declared data type of trnum. And let's have a look again at what it looks like. trnum is now declared as a type of arrays with 10 positions, and each of them can store an integer. You should now go and declare new data types so that you can redeclare our words, our salaries, and our homeroom as a simple data type which you've created up at the top of your program.